To our Commitment 2024 coverage now, longtime Democrat Ann Ashford, the wife of former Congressman Brad Ashford, endorses Republican Don Bacon. Now, Bacon is running against Democrat Tony Vargas. It's in one of the most competitive races in the country, and Waverly Monroe is on the live desk with this. Yeah, Robin Quinesia, while Ann Ashford says they don't agree on every issue, like the Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade, Ashford calls her endorsement character over party, saying she trusts Bacon and he has the integrity conti to continue in office. The Ashfords and Bacon have a long history. Bacon beat the late Brad Ashford in 2016 to take over Nebraska's second congressional district. Since the two became friends, Bacon commenting on how they had a lot in common showed in 2020 when Brad Ashford crossed party lines to endorse his formal rival. And when Ashford passed in 2022, Bacon called him a visionary. But with just days left in the election, Bacon and Vargas neck and neck with polling showing Vargas has a slight lead. That's according to polling from 538. That's why UNO's political science professor, Randall Atkins, says this endorsement is really important. Um, this is a second opportunity for Vargas to run against Bacon, and so people know him a lot better this time. But also, it goes to show that moderate Democrats, many throughout the district, are willing to support Bacon. Um, we'll just have to see in the end if there's enough moderate Democrats to keep Bacon in office. Well, we did reach out to Tony Vargas's campaign for an interview. A spokesperson sent us a statement instead, saying in part, quote, Don Bacon can't cover up the fact that he votes again and again the way Donald Trump tells him to in an attempt to remain in office. Well, coming up in five, you can hear more from Ashford and Bacon on this endorsement. Back to you.